Day guys, um, I finally got around to cleaning some of the shit out of my yard. No, it's only about halfway through. I've dumped ute load after ute load of bloody lawnmowers, and oh, I've still got them coming out my ass. No, these are the ones I'm keeping so far to fix up and sell on again. But I've still got to go through this corner over here and behind all these cars here. They go all the way down to the other fence there. But the main purpose of this video is I'm doing one up to put up on eBay at the moment. And the main purpose of this video is this is an old looking engine. But there's nothing wrong with it, just no one wants old looking machines anymore. So I'm going to show you how you can take a stuffed newer model Briggs and Stratton engine and make one of the old ones look exactly like a new one. Okay. So what I've got here is a newer model top cowling from a classic 3.7 Briggs that had a broken conrod, which is from 05. So it's a lot newer than this one which was from 1980. I thought, well, I've got it apart. I'm going to upgrade the carb off this one, which also has a broken conrod. So it's got a primer style instead of this old choke style. And we'll get rid of the points ignition and replace it with electronic ignition, which is direct bolt on swap. So that's about as stripped down as you need to get. Like, I've still got my governor fin here. I don't need to pull that off and just hang there for a minute. Um, I've left all the points in there, it's just less shit for me to pull out and throw in the bin. I've just cut the wires off nice and close. So that's basically what we're dumping. Uh, that as well. Let's give everything a pressure clean now and then we'll get back to putting it back together. Alright, so that's perfectly clean now, or close enough. So, once this is dried off, I'll um, start putting it back together for you guys. Uh, this is a Massport mower. It's made in New Zealand, but the end's missing off the sticker. But, but seriously, they are a good in oh, good mower. The older Briggs and Stratton's are a good engine. And I know of mower shops now that won't even support Victor's in their shop now, but they will keep Massports on, so they must be doing something right. So now the reassembly can begin. Start off with your flywheel. Flywheel key. Top starter cup. Yeah, there was a washer here somewhere. and tighten it down. Alright, so the flywheel is now on and tightened down properly so I'm just making sure it's clearing everything underneath properly which it's not hitting anything. Now we'll go on with the ignition. First off you have to fit the kill wire from the mower that had the electronic ignition. The wire goes this way around, comes out that little hole there sort of pull it through a bit so it only sits and connects on there. And then there's a little push on connector which I can barely see on the camera so which you can slide it through there. Okay so once that wire's fitted go right ahead and fit your electronic ignition coil. No points with this one now. Hook your kill switch onto the spade terminal off the bottom of the coil and fit as per normal. Run a gap of about 10 thousandths of an inch or thickness of business card. I'm just going to line this up by eye at the moment so I haven't got anything handy on me. So the ignition coil's fitted up now. Don't forget to put your governor flap on before you bolt it down. 
tested for spark, it has spark. So we're going to go ahead and fit the top cowling on. Now, this one does need a small modification. See how that dips in there from the original engine? Well, that's perfectly round there, so you just need to sort of bend it out a bit and it'll fit. Okay, so the top cowling's now on. Looks pretty good. I've forgotten a couple of little bits of tin that cover up underneath the flywheel just there on both sides. But I'll fit those up shortly and then we'll get on to fitting up the carby. Okay, so once again, the primer carb will just fit straight on more or less. Sometimes you have to change the little boot. It goes onto the breather there. But all the governor linkages will fit straight in and I'll just show you how everything's working in just a second. So that's everything hooked up, ready to go. Just got to fit the air filter on and fire it up. Oh, no throttle cable just yet. On full throttle. Let's see how it goes.